Welcome to American Medicine Today, presented by the Bonatti Spine Institute, featuring the internationally acclaimed inventor of the Bonatti Spine Procedures, Alfred Bonatti, MD. Now here along with Dr. Bonatti, your host, Kimberly Brumell. Good Saturday afternoon, and thank you for joining us for American Medicine Today. I'm Kimberly Brumell. Uh, we have our friend and executive producer of American Medicine Today, Ethan Euchre here. I like that you lead out with friend. That yes. makes me feel like we're more than just co-workers. You yeah. know what I mean? We're, we're, we're genuine friends yes. here on the show. I like that. Yes. <laughs> and we have our senior fellow, another friend. Yeah, I wouldn't go that A friendly far. fellow. Yes. He our senior fellow. <laughs> Mr. Jeff Wagstaff. Yes. How are you, sir? I'll be here all afternoon. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and we have world-renowned orthopedic surgeon joining us every weekend, and that's Dr. Alfred Benatti of the Benatti Spine Institute. And I'm not your friend. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but as the conversation went before we started the show, we do know that he is world-renowned. He is yes, world-renowned, that is for sure. Yes. Yeah, but we have a diva in the system. <laughs> if, people, if people could just see and hear the things that happen behind the scenes here. And that's Ms. Diva. <laughs> oh, Ms. Or Diva, Mr. Sorry. Diva. Does Diva work for men, too? I don't know. <laughs> but but anyway, we're a very close, tight family here. Yes, and um, every week we speak to the patients. And what's an amazing thing that we hear is if they've gone through traditional open spine surgery, um, they have had a tremendous amount of failure with that. They're being slid open in the front, slid open in the back. Um, sometimes there's hardware being put in and those things are causing other problems, adhesions, different things uh, happen and they're not getting the mobility that they should be getting. And oftentimes, more than not, even if they're told that they don't even uh, necessarily could be a candidate for this open back surgery mm -hmm. they're being told there's nothing that can be done and these poor people these individuals are being told their life is going to be dependent upon pills um, some are going to be confined to wheelchairs and that is going to be the rest of their lives and they're being told that from like age 20 or sometimes we're hearing from people um, at age 18 and then it spans the gamut um, into age 60 and older mm -hmm. and how horrible is that and so depressing and what we're finding out is once they come to the Benati Spine Institute there was always a chance for hope and they're being uh, they're having their problems resolved and that's what sets us apart you don't need multiple reasons to go to other places or multiple reasons to come to us there's just one that stands out and it's Benati succeeds where others fail and he does that through his patented procedures and with the instrumentation he did and it's the patented Benati spine procedures and those tools that exactly pinpoint the person's problem and get them back to life and on that note um, coming up, we're going to be speaking with award-winning investigative journalist Greg O'Brien. He'll be on to discuss um, being diagnosed early with onset of Alzheimer's at age 59. Yeah, I didn't even know that that was a thing until oh. yeah. I, I went ahead and booked Greg. And mm -hmm. at, yeah, at age 59, early onset Alzheimer's disease, is, I believe his mother uh, suffered from it yes. as well. Um, it's, it's a pretty fascinating story. Mm -hmm. He wrote the book to sort of document yes. his own mental decline. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's pretty fascinating. We'll mm -hmm. talk to him later on in the show. Yes, scary, and, scary. And, and then we're going to speak with laryngologist, if I uh, pronounce that right, but a voice and throat doctor, Dr. Jamie Kaufman. And she has a book out called The Chronic Cough Enigma, and we actually had her on the television program. Mm -hmm. Very interesting individual. And then, of course, we'll hear what's new in American medicine today. I believe a uh, topic of choice will probably be about the veteran scandal. But up first... In today's Back to Life segment, we will talk to a patient of the Bonatti Spine Institute who went from living a life that was restricted by pain and discomfort through their journey of finding the Bonatti Spine Institute and are now living pain-free. So we have on the line patient Kate Lanier, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but um, we have her on the line from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. I'm great. Great to be here. So why don't you kind of walk us through the process? Um, you you are very young. What is your age? I am 29. I'm 21 now. Mm -hmm. um, but when all of this started, I just turned 18. And so what happened? How did you uh, start suffering uh, pain at the uh, young age of 18? What happened to you, Kate? Um, well, it actually all started in my leg. I was having real bad leg pain. 
in the summer of 2011, and I was just having pain, and they couldn't figure out there was nothing wrong with my leg, and there was nothing wrong with my knee, and um, finally they were like, well, let's MRI your back, because sometimes um, your back can cause pain in your legs. So that's what we did, and in July of 2011, I was diagnosed with degenerative disc disease and spinal stenosis, um, which... They told me at such a young age there was nothing I could do, and eventually my back would just collapse, um, which to me at 18 was terrifying. I was absolutely, I couldn't stop crying. My parents had to, like, try to calm me down. Um, so we went on, you know, with life, and in January of that of 2012, I woke up one morning, and I couldn't feel the majority of my legs. I was having pain in my back that I couldn't stand up straight. Um, my parents rushed me to the back specialist that they had sent me to down here in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, there's nothing we can do for you. Um, we're going to give you some Percocet and some Valium. And here is a walker and a wheelchair for you. Here's a prescription for both. You can go get that at your local um, pharmacy. And, you know, we won't do anything for you. And there's nobody anywhere that can do anything to help you. So at 18 years of age, you're told that there's nothing they can do. Here's a couple bottles of pills in a wheelchair. God bless you. Right. And they sent me home, and I was, in, I, was, I was done. I was ready to give up on everything. They told me I would never live a normal life. Wow. So what brought you to the Benati Spine Institute? Well, my mom, um, she just refused to accept that, you know, in a world with so much medical advancement, Mm -hmm. that there was nobody in the whole world that couldn't help with this. Mm -hmm. So she got on the Internet and she started researching the two things that they told me I had, which were degenerative disc disease and spinal mm -hmm. stenosis. And she kept researching and she kept researching. And every time the Benai Spine Institute website kept popping up, kept popping up in her face, and she was like, well, I guess there's something to it. <laughs> so she clicked on the website and just started reading everything, reading the testimonials from um, other patients mm -hmm. and saw the, where you could send in your MRI for free and they would look at it and tell you right away if they could do something or not. And Kate, so, so is, that, is that what you did? Did you send your MRI to uh, Dr. Bernati? Yes, I sent it to him um, and then maybe in a day or two, his, his, um, he got back to us and said, We're, we'll, we can help you. You know, there you don't have to live in pain. Mm -hmm. Come down here, and we can there we can do these surgeries, and you'll be fine. How so, did, how did that make you feel? Good. How did that make you feel? Um, I was a little um, skeptical at first because you know I'm getting told that there's nothing that anybody can do. So at first I was skeptical and excited, and all at the same time just a whirlwind of emotions. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. Mm -hmm. um, so two weeks later, we got on a plane and we flew down to Florida and started meeting with... As soon as you walk in the door at the Bonatti, there there's someone there to greet you, mm -hmm. and they're just so friendly. And for someone who's already scared and who's already nervous about what's going to happen, that's very you know reassuring and very calming to have someone there to just, you know, welcome you and kind of treat you as nice as they can. Mm -hmm. Really put you at ease at uh, the Benai. Yeah. It did. So, um, that was great. <laughs> one of the things that uh, the procedure is known for is their conscious IV sedation where you are essentially awake through the whole procedure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Now, uh, you went through that. Did you watch the procedure on the, on the big screen? Well, I was told that it helps to watch, and I'm, I was terrified already at the thought of being awake during a mm -hmm. procedure. Mm -hmm. um, so the first one, I did not watch the procedure, but um, ever since the second one and on, I have watched every time, and anyone going through it, I definitely recommend you watch it because it does help you kind of, you know, you know what's coming up, you know, you see what's going to happen, and it, it really helps you just, it helps alleviate some of the pain that helps you get you prepared for it. Right. Kate, after that second procedure, when you went into the recovery room, tell us a little bit about what that was like. Were you able to, were you mobile immediately after the surgery? Well, after my first surgery, I was, you know, I came to Dr. Minotti and I could not stand up straight. Mm -hmm. um, every time I did, 
it, it hurt so bad I couldn't even hardly breathe. After the very first procedure he did, I stood right up and started walking. And my mom couldn't believe it because she, she went with me and she had seen how, you know, much in pain I was in when I stood up. And um, after the very first procedure, I remember waking up and saying, oh, my gosh, I felt like I got hit by a train. Mm -hmm. Just because the pain of being awake during the surgery is intense. But it's like an outer body experience because when you wake up, it's like it really didn't happen because you feel good. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're a little sore, but, you know, it's not nothing compared to the pain that you that I was in um, when I went into surgery. And I remember, I remember standing up and walking that first time, and I couldn't believe it. But after that second surgery, did you experience complete relief? I did. Um, I, I felt 110 times better. I, I remember just being so grateful. I remember I walked back into the room the next day for my follow-up and just gave Dr. Benati the biggest hug I could ever give somebody. <laughs> Well, Kate, after, after, after all your experience at the Benati Spine Institute, do you feel comfortable recommending other people who are suffering from back, neck, pain to the Benati Institute? I tell everyone I come into contact with, every single person, because um, he has just done so, so amazing things for me. I recommend everyone, if you're having any kind of back pain and that you've been told that no one can help you. Dr. Bernardi is the person to go to. In, in my area, there are people that are now starting to do similar types of procedures that are hour, you know, maybe an hour away from where I live. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would not go to anyone else but Dr. Bonatti. Well, you do know they a lot of people claim to do minimally invasive, mm -hmm. but there's a big difference between the Bonatti spine procedures and just any minimally invasive right. spine surgery. So yeah. um, continued good health. We're coming up on a break. Um, thank you for sharing your story back to life um, at such a young age. I'm glad we were able to help. And as you know, um, you were diagnosed at age 18, never going to be fully functional. And it's amazing. now you're 21 and you're doing good. So continued <laughs> good health yeah. to you. Thank, God bless. Thank you, Kate. God bless you. Love you guys. <laughs> we love you we too. We love you too. Have a great Aww. day. <laughs> No, another success story. Love it. I know. You're listening to American Medicine Today on News Radio 970 WFLA. Uh, coming up after the break, we're going to hear from award winning investigative journalist Greg O'Brien, who has been diagnosed with the early onset of Alzheimer's. Coming up after the break. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. This is the first time that I am pain free after 18 years. And it's just wonderful. I love it. Phenomenal results. No pain whatsoever. My pain is virtually gone. Nothing short of a miracle. Those surgeries gave me my life back. Already I feel like a new person. I'm going home new. I can chase my grandbaby now. I can garden, I can cook, and I'm really thrilled. The outcome has been remarkable. I feel 100% better. It's like a miracle. It was phenomenal. It literally did change my life. I was in a wheelchair at that time and uh, I left here walking. Every single pain that I had when I came here is gone. I'm ready to go home and feel great. This place is great. Thank you. Everything that they said they would do, they have done and I'm very, very satisfied and happy with those results. I knew in surgery, in fact I told the surgeon when he relieved the pain off the nerve. The pain is gone, I'm feeling wonderful. I have no pain, I feel better than I felt in four years from the surgery, it was almost immediate relief. Today I am totally pain free, which is just amazing, it's fantastic. It definitely works, I mean I really don't know what else to tell you, <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs>
Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail.